Our next guest may be the world's smartest five-year-old. Take a look. Our next guest can recite the entire periodic table. I'm going to show you some, and you're going to tell us what this is. K, potassium, omega, sium, iodine. That is nitrous oxide, which is wrapping gas. They throw potato chip bags with it to keep your chips from getting smushed. I get it when I go to the dentist. That, that, I can just suck on that, uh, that bag and there's... That's funny. The only taste that humans are born craving is, is sugar. Cookies. It's cookies. Oh. How does that feel? Nice and snug? Maybe squeezing on the blades. And this is? Uranus. Yes. Many people yet to joke about the name of this. Please welcome back, Brielle. always look so good. I love that dress. Thank you. And I like your hair, and you have little ribbons, you. and you're, oh, you're cute. Thank you. You're really cute. All right, so welcome back, and I heard that you have a new hobby. I do. I'm doing rock climbing. Rock climbing? Is that scary? No, I was going to the tippy, tippy top, but it's just a bit hard coming down. It is. It's harder coming down? Because my teacher asks me, to let go, but... Yeah, you're scared to let go. That, that goes against all your instincts. But you're holding on to, you have a rope and everything, right? Yes. Yeah. And so, uh, wow, that's real. look how high up you are. Do you, and I heard you're doing it blindfolded. I, I do do it blindfolded. How, why? Because that's the brain one, so you have to feel for the rocks. Ah, oh, I see. So it's more challenging that way. Yes. And is it scary or blindfolded? Um, it's not scary, but the first time I didn't do it very, very far. But the second time, I had to throw it down because I wasn't low enough where I could hand it to him. Oh, I see. I see the blindfold. Uh, wow. And so, and, you, and your dog, what's your dog's name? Nikki. Nikki had a birthday, right? Yes. Well, how did you celebrate your dog's birthday? I made her pup cakes. Pup cakes? It was supposed to be a cake, but we just didn't have the right pan. <laughs> so we turned it into pup yes. cakes. And so, and her name is Nikki. Why is her name Nikki? Because I named her after one of my favorite elements. What is your favorite? Magnesium. What is your favorite element? Copernicium. That's right, it's most of ours. It's uh, <laughs> When you ask us what it is, it's copernicium. Yes. Um, all right, so now you, you just know everything about everything, and I'm going to show you some things, and you're going to tell us about some organ and some systems in the body. Yes. All right? That's so, the immune system. This is the immune system. Yes. Tell us the about that. The immune system is a network of cells, tissue, and organs that work together to, to fight off germs. Stress is really hard on your body, and it increases the amount of cortisol in it. Yeah, that's amazing. So, okay, what is what is this right here? The the muscular system. The muscular system is responsible for the movement of the body, and humans are born with all the muscle fibers that they will ever ever have. And do you know what that means? No. That means I have similar muscles to someone big like Dwayne Johnson. But our muscles might look a little different because his muscles are bigger because when he exercises, the muscles get torn down and they come back thicker, which causes them to get bigger and stronger. Wow. Boy, you know a lot. And what is this right here? The digestive system. The digestive system is a group of organs that work together to turn food into energy and nutrients for your body. It's commonly thought that your stomach growls because you're hungry and it's reminding you to eat, but that's not true. <laughs> stomach grumbling is part of normal digestive movements, but it's a bit more noticeable if it's empty. Yeah, yeah, because it, 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 it's echoey in there. 
Um, all right, we're going to take a break, and we're going to come back, and then we have a few more and uh, talk about some other things. We'll be right back. We're back with Brielle, and I asked her what uh, she wanted to talk about next, and she likes all of these. So we'll let her tell us about all of these. What is this? That's the respiratory system. The organs in the respiratory system take in oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide. When you breathe in, do you know why your chest gets big? I don't. Most people think it's because your chest is filling up with air. But there's actually a different cause. What is it? The, the diaphragm, when you breathe in, the diaphragm contracts and moves down to create more room in your chest. At the same time, the muscles between the ribs contract and move the rib cage up and down. So your chest expands. You are too much. All right, and <laughs> what is this one? That's the nervous system. The nervous system is a complex group of nerves and specialized cells known as neurons and send signals to different parts of the body. And it's like the body's electrical wiring. Yeah. Do you know that there are more nerves in the human brain than there are stars in the Milky Way? Isn't that amazing? More nerves in, uh, in cells in the human brain than in the uh, stars in the Milky Way. That's amazing. You're amazing. I, I got you a gift. You know, when, when you're here, I like to give you things, right? Yes. And now I know that you're climbing root walls, so I got you something. Let's go Thank over here. Thank you. Come see. Thank you. You're welcome. I got you a Thank helmet, you. and I got you gloves, and this Thank wall you. that's going to go somewhere in your house. Thank you. You're welcome, Brielle.